So this is where my uncle lives? Yes, huh? sir. For the last 35 years of his astonishing life. Oh, you kind of snuck up on me there. I am very, very sneaky, sir. I see that. My name's Deeds. I am Emilio, sir. I am your servant. Servant? I don't want a servant, but if you want to be my friend, I'll take that. <laughs> friends. Yes. Good friends. Would you like to go down to your apartment, sir? I'm sure it's been an exhausting day. That okay with you, Chuck? Oh, you'll be safe there. It'll take us a couple of days to get the papers drawn up for you to sign. and Go make yourself at home. Terrific. Later. I will be with you shortly, sir. You got it. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Deeds. Oh, I'm Ruben, sir. This is a wicked nice elevator. Keep an eye on him, Emilio. Or it's your ass. It's nice to see you too, sir. So how's the elevator business treating you, Ruben? Oh, it has its ups and downs. All right, all right. Jeez, <laughs> I'm crawl. How'd you get down here so fast? Sneaky, sneaky, sir. Right this way. Wow. 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 Is something the matter, sir? <laughs> That's an echo, sir. Yeah, you try it. Me, sir? It's a lot of fun. Woo! Come on, you can do it louder than that. Woo! Ho, 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 ho. Serious. Thank you. Water fountain in his room. I love it. That's Hawaiian punch. He adores Hawaiian punch. Wow! You kind of just snuck up on me there, ma'am. I fear you're underestimating the sneakiness, sir. Yeah, I guess I was. What are you doing down there? I am assisting you with your sock change. You gonna change my socks for me? You don't gotta do that. Come on, stand up. Thank you, sir. Besides, you don't wanna have to touch my right foot. I got wicked bad frostbite when I was in the scouts. Check it out. <coughs> Hmm. Pretty messed up, huh? The hideousness of that foot will haunt my dreams forever. Oh, yeah, I've heard that before. But the weird thing is, I got no feeling left in it, so you could, like, jump on it, and it wouldn't hurt me. Go ahead, jump on it. I would really rather not, sir. Oh, please, please jump on my foot. Yeah, I didn't feel that. What else you got? Hey, get that fireplace poker right there and just whack my foot. Do I absolutely have to? It's gonna be fun. Just, just grab it. All my friends do this when they're wasted. <laughs> Come on. Go ahead, give it a whack. <laughs> Nothing. Really? Isn't that sick? <laughs> didn't feel that. Isn't that awesome? Go ahead. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, I know. I know you're starting to like it, aren't you? Chop that wood. Yeah, that's it. Ah! You're sick. You're sick. Why would you do that to me? I'm just kidding you, pal. <laughs> you, you want me going there? I saw your face. You were like. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta talk to Cedar and Anderson, find out what I'm supposed to be doing today. So, could you take that out of my foot? I'm kind of nailed to the ground here. Yeah. I call your car, Mr. Cedar, to take you to the funeral. What funeral? Your great uncle's funeral. His funeral's today? Today, yes. I'll go get my suit on. Cute, big mouth. Sir? As soon as that moron goes back to Cowboy Falls, you are out of here on your fat Puerto Rican ass. I hail from Spain, sir. Ole. All right. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. That's all right. I told him he could have that. Thanks, Deeds. Right on, buddy. Nice seeing you. You need to use our bathroom. Come back and use it, okay? We'll do, Deeds. All right. Anything I did at the funeral today? You spoke beautifully, sir. 
I still feel bad. I think I snapped my uncle's hand off when I was putting him back in the casket. Lucky for him, he was dead, sir. Even though his face was frozen that way, it looked to me like he was a happy guy, am I right? Oh, he truly was. Come on, sit down, please. And I got to hang out with him just like this almost every day for 30 years. What'd you guys talk about? We spoke of life, love, art, wine, business. I learned much from him. I bet you miss him, too. I do. He was like a parent to me. You see, I never knew my father, a mama. She passed while giving the birth to me. You want some cocoa babbles? Uh, no, thanks. OK. I have uh, much work to do. Oh, oh thanks. You don't got to do that. Oh, all right, thank you. Enjoy your pebbles. One more thing. Your great uncle did not let me change his socks for him either. I like feet. I do not know why. Would you mind sitting down for a second? Yes, sir. Say something to me. Pretend that you're her. Me, sir? Please. Well, it's nice of you to have invited me to dine with you this evening. It's my pleasure. Actually, you're a little too tall. Can you slink down? Like this? That's good. This is one of the best dates I've ever been on. You make me feel very special. You make me feel very special, too. That's where I got this for you. OK, could you lean forward? I really like you a lot. I like you, too. I can't stop thinking about you. I can't stop thinking about you. Please, let me touch your feet. OK, this is getting weird. You can stand up now. Ladies and gentlemen, the bottom line is that this guy messenger will result in every shareholder, all of you and myself included, getting a substantial premium for our shares. But before we vote, the company bylaws require me to open the floor to shareholders for statements either for or against this buyout plan. Does anyone wish to make a statement? Dismantling this company would be an insult to a great man. <laughs> you scared me. It is an unspeakable outrage, and it cannot be allowed to happen. I have here the Blake Media Ledger sign-in book from April 1957. On the night of the 12th, there was only one woman working on Preston Blake's floor. Sadly, nine months later, she died giving birth to a son. A son born January 23rd, 1958. That is my birthday. To Miss Consuela Lopez. That is my mother. And the rightful heir to $40 billion. That is my money? A simple DNA test will show that Emilio Lopez is the majority stockholder to Blake Media. That is my money. That's no money. That is my money. I am... oh! Way to go, Emilio. I will do good things. Good things for everyone. Free for the for all. People, people, please. That is my money. Don't be misled. These are all lies. Mr. Cedar, you are fired. You can't fire me! I'm in control! Get your hand off! You're fired? You? Oh, you, sir, you are definitely fired. I'd uh, like to stay. I think I can really do some good if I just got another chance. Not fired. But tomorrow morning, you let me change your socks. Okay. And you... Long, long, long fellow. You are the one who made all this possible with your beautiful words and your beautiful spirit. And Miss Bennett with her beautiful research. How can I thank you? All I want is your friendship, Emilio. You're a good man. I'll miss you. Beef. How about a billion dollars? All right. Done.